What's up guys, Luke Deutschina here with another video. If you like my videos, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and drop some comments down below about today's video. We're gonna be talking about why you should not buy stolen phones, whether you are an at-home business or an in-store business, doesn't matter how legitimate you are, there's no excuse to be purchasing or knowingly purchasing mass stolen phones. So I wanna to talk to you today about an actual certified Apple repair center that was actually purchasing bulk amounts of stolen Apple products. Now these guys are currently facing federal charges. For those of you guys that don't know the difference, state charges, usually jail time, federal charges, pretty much guaranteed prison time. Doesn't matter if you don't have past criminal activity, etc. Maybe they'll get out of it, but likely not. Federal charges are not a good thing. So, hence, this is a federal case. These guys have been moving a lot of stolen products, and it's just not a good thing. So, I'm going to kind of read some of the article here and some of the notes that I got taken down. I'll also drop a description uh, link down here just so you guys can go there. Just look in the description for it. You can go check it out if you want to see the actual news video. But it made Fox News and everything, and it's just crazy to think that a certified Apple iPhone repair center would be doing something like this. But like I said, the industry is so huge and I've tried to tell so many people this, that you never really know until you know. This industry is huge. Everybody's doing something. Not everybody talks about what everybody does. It's crazy. There's gray markets, there's black markets, there's clean markets. It's just, it's just such a huge market, it's crazy. So that being said, this phone store was Ace Future Wireless of Taylor, Ohio. And basically, Taylor cell phone store has been busted for allegedly stolen stolen devices. Uh, federal investigators say the two men who operate Ace Future Wireless and Taylor, Frank Manny Jr. and Absol Montezer, knowingly bought and sold and shipped out stolen iPhones and iPads. Now, in my opinion on this, if it was just a few phones and they got in trouble or something, that would be kind of odd to me. But basically, apparently... They've been shipping out mass amounts of stolen iPhones and they knowingly knew that they were stolen. So that's where, in my opinion, that's a giant red flag and they knew what they were doing. They shouldn't have been doing this. Uh, you know, not to mention they're a legitimate certified Apple repair center. You would think that they're probably making plenty of money on certified Apple repairs. So I have no reason why they would take a clean business and then introduce it into something like this that could go downhill very fast. So basically... Uh, feds are saying that some of the iPhones were sold from Walmart, Sam's Club, and Target and were then sold to Ace Future Wireless. And that iPads got into the owner's hands from break-ins at several different schools, Walmarts and Targets, etc. So about 40 iPads were stolen. One of the men seen there told police basically he sold a few of them to Ace Future Wireless. And basically the police department recovered them in a raid. So they're iPhone repair center actually got raided by the feds, which is actually pretty crazy. So what's interesting is uh, the bigger problem here is although they could have unknowingly purchased these iPads or these iPhones from their customers or suppliers that were bringing them in, the feds actually sent in an undercover agent and sold more than $10,000 worth of iPhones to Ace Future Wireless. Here's the big problem. The agent or the Fed actually asked Ace Future Wireless if it was okay to sell them stolen devices. And what Ace Future Wireless said, as long as they don't check out stolen at the time of purchase, it doesn't matter. We'll buy them anyways. We don't care if they're stolen. That's a huge red flag. Just an FYI to anybody out there who flip phones or anybody who owns a store, don't tell somebody it's okay if the phones are stolen as long as it doesn't say that they're stolen on the day you purchase them. It's not okay to buy stolen phones, especially if you knowingly know that they're stolen or if somebody tells you, hey, I stole all of these phones, do you still wanna buy them? Never ever do that, that's a terrible idea. So basically, the feds put a rather large scale case together against uh, Ace Future Wireless and yeah, they're basically taken down, they're out of business, Nobody really knows what happened to them. Uh, the news reporters tried reaching out to them, tried going to their houses, and they could not find uh, they could not find the owners at all. But basically, all in all, there was a couple different reports on this. Um, agents basically, undercover agent basically sold you know multiple times. They sold multiple numbers of stolen phones to them, 
And so they put this huge case together, and then on top of that, they did a giant raid. Uh, says the agents searched the boxes and found about 340 iPhones, including the two sold to them by the undercover agent. So these guys are probably dealing with quite a bit of inventory, probably making you know hundreds of thousand dollars each year, if not close to a million dollars, with those kind of units just sitting on hand. You got to figure if somebody's got 400 units sitting around, they're probably moving three to 400 units a month, probably fairly easy. And at 400 units a month, if you're making you know $50 of profit, that's $20,000 profit net per year. That's over a quarter million dollars a year in basically stolen devices. Now, I'm not saying that all of their devices were stolen, but obviously a big majority of them were just based on the investigation that the feds and the agents were doing. So this is just another great example on why I instill people not to buy blacklisted devices, especially not devices that are knowingly stolen. Somebody comes to you with an iCloud lock phone and says, yeah, I picked it up in the school parking lot, or yeah, I picked it up in this parking lot, or yeah, I found it in the bathroom. Finding an iCloud locked phone, especially one that has find my iCloud on it, or find my iPhone on it enabled, that is a stolen phone. You do not want to be buying that, and you can get taken down for that. Not to mention if somebody puts together a case like these feds did against these guys and you get set up and you tell people, hey, it's okay if the phone's stolen, no big deal. You know, we can buy these all the time because we just ship them out of the country. That's not something you want to be doing and it's not something you want to be known for. The men who operated Ace Future Wireless, their reputation will be forever tarnished in the industry due to the fact that they took in all of these stolen devices and that they told the undercover agents that it's okay that the devices are stolen. Now, like I said, it's one thing if Ace Future Wireless purchased a few phones here and there that were stolen and they didn't know that they were stolen, but doing this over and over and over again shows a repeated pattern and obviously shows guilt that they knowingly did all this and that they were just looking for basically a quick dollar. Some of the other notes here basically says that five phones were sold to Ace Future Wireless, which were guaranteed stolen, and basically they were paying $400 each for blacklisted iPhone X, $300 for iPhone 8, uh, sealed in the box, and then just basically shipping them overseas, exporting, which is a pretty normal thing in the business, not purchasing stolen phones, but pretty normal to export phones overseas if they've got, you know, retailers or direct buying companies that they deal with, especially when you're dealing with, you know, two, 300 phones at a time. So it's very interesting. It's just kind of, uh, you know, the way the game goes. If you're going to be playing like this, you're playing with fire when you are dealing with multiple masses of stolen phones like this it's not something you want to do especially when they're taken right off the shelves from somewhere or taken off a truck those are stolen phones there's a big difference between the finance phone or you know consumers who don't pay their bills necessarily but if you're mass purchasing phones that are just taken right off the shelves nobody even financed them nobody even attempted to pay for them or anything and they're completely stolen or blacklisted that is not something you want to be doing so that being said, I will drop a link to the news story from Fox News in the description. If you guys want to go check that out, you can read the news article. It's pretty short, and then the video is only like two minutes, so it's kind of industry, but this is something that can happen if you get caught up in this, and that's why I stress people to you know try and make sure that you're checking out the phones as best as possible, get bill of sales, and try and make sure that you're dealing with legitimate suppliers, not people who jack stuff off trucks or out of stores, etc. It's just not something you want to be known for. So that being said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one.